Okay, so I had someone ask how to make cloth wipes, and it's really easy. I'm going to show you as best I can really quickly. Um, first, you have to decide what size you want your wipes to be. This one just happens to be um, about seven and a half by seven and a half. So this is a finished one. Real easy, and I've pulled them in half. Uh, there's my cut stack of this is just some flannel that I got from Joann's for cheap. So you would take it and lay it out. This I did uh, about a half inch seam. If you look, I can lay this one inside of it. Sorry, just a second. It's about a half inch seam all the way around. So it's eight and a half. Eight and a half by eight and a half cut out. So you cut your square pieces. You can make them whatever size you want. And then I'll show you next what you do to sew them together. Okay, your next step is you want your fabric to be facing right side to right side. So that means both of your printed sides that you want showing are facing each other. And you see both of the wrong sides. And then you're ready to start sewing. So if you have a serger, you could just go ahead and just serge all the way around and it would be done. Um, in that case, you would want both right sides showing. This, I'm just going to show you how to do um, where you just stitch it and turn and then top stitch it. So you'll want to start, sorry it's hard to do one handed. About um, halfway, maybe not even halfway, like a little more than halfway down because you're going to want to sew all the way around but you're going to want to leave an opening. So line it up. You're going to put your stitch on a straight stitch. Lower your needle. Lower your presser foot. Hope you saw that. And begin stitching. Oh, thought I'd mention, this is called a walking foot. It's not your normal foot. Um, it's good for knits and things that have stretch. Flannel doesn't have a whole lot of stretch, but like with, I was doing knit earlier, and it has stretch, and so this helps pull the fabric through easier. Um, I like this foot. It makes a lot of noise, but I like it. You're going to sew until you get to an edge where you have approximately whatever your seam allowance that you chose to do is left and you're going to leave your needle down if you set the needles down so that you can pivot your fabric without it coming loose like I can pull on it and it doesn't come loose so then you're going to turn your fabric and continue stitching around you're going to do this at every single corner and I'll be back once we get to the last corner okay so I'm on the last corner I have sewn now all the way around, I should have used a different color thread just so you could see it, I'm using white. But anyways, I've sewn it all the way back around. Here is where we started. And as you can see, this part is not sewn. So you're going to turn your fabric to where it's facing you. Lower the presser foot. And you're going to sew. But you want to make sure that you stop. Here's where we started. You want to make sure you stop so that you have an opening to turn your fabric through. So that's probably good enough. You're going to back stitch. My back stitch is right here. You just simply press this down and it makes your fabric go in reverse. And then you're going to let everything out. your sorry cut your thread and you have a sewn thing now this just needs to be turned out one thing you can do to help remove the bulk is you take your scissors and just snip off the corners on each corner and do that for each corner 
Okay, after you clip all the corners, you're going to turn your work inside out. So this is why we left a hole. I'm going to take it and just flip it to where you see your fabric that you want to see. And then you're going to go in and make sure that you untuck all your corners. You can also use your scissors or something to poke these out if it's clear. Then you will take your pocket opening part and make sure it's tucked in and even. And then you need to press each side, and I'll show you how to do that. Stop right there. Okay, here's the side that is not sewn close. You're just gonna press it real quick. Make sure you set your iron to whatever setting is okay for whatever material you're using. This just makes it easier when you're gonna go back and top stitch over this. Okay, next you're going to top stitch. You can pick either a decorative stitch or straight stitch, whatever you want to do. I'm doing a zigzag. So you just want to make sure when your needle goes down on the farthest to the right setting, it's not coming off of your fabric. So put your needle in and then sew a little bit, back stitch, go again forward. Staying close to the edge, this is just going to keep your seams that you sewed down. to sew all the way to the corner and then turn making sure my needle ended on a right downward stitch rather than a left do this all the way around and you end up with it looking like this with your finished zigzag and that'll also close up the place make sure when you get to that place that that stays closed if you need to you can pin it close and then sew make sure you remove the pins as you're going but that will close off the little part that you turned through and it's as simple as that hope it helps <laughs>